The Bible says in Psalm chapter 5 reading from verse 3. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning I lay my requests before you and wait expectantly. For you are not a God who is pleased with wickedness. With you, evil people are not welcome. The arrogant cannot stand in your presence. You hate all who do wrong. You destroy those who tell lies. The bloodthirsty and deceitful you, Lord, detest. But I, by your great love, can come into your house. In reverence, I bow down toward your holy temple. Lead me, Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before me. Dear God, this is the day that you have made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. With gratitude, I thank you for preserving my life for one more day. With gratitude, I thank you for your ultimate gift of love for me, in the form of your son, and the sacrifice of his life on my behalf. Because of this overwhelming gift that I often cannot comprehend, I humbly submit to you. I know, Lord, that I am a mere human and cannot instruct you. So, teach me your ways that I may rely on your faithfulness. Teach us to number our days and to use our time wisely. I don't know what this day holds, but I know that you hold the day. It was you that laid the foundations of the earth and therefore understands every part of it. I know that you keep the sun in the sky, the stars in place, and have created this earth for me to inhabit and enjoy. Throughout this day, may I be keenly aware of your presence in everything I do. As I commute to work, drop children off at school, keep house and speak with my neighbors. May my life be a living example, and may others see Christ in me. There are many that are hurting in this world. May I be a salve to someone today, Lord, in a way that I can't even imagine. May my words be seasoned with salt and minister grace to all that hear. May my actions be aligned with your word. I pray for wisdom that is peaceable, gentle, and approachable, with lots of mercy and fairness. You said an unlimited supply of wisdom is available to me if I simply ask, so I pray for wisdom to know how to deal with the many people and situations that will cross my path. I pray for protection throughout this day. Protect from harm and evil. Go before me, to the left and right of me and behind me. Order my steps so that I walk worthy of your calling throughout this day. May I be attuned to your promptings whether it shows up as a gentle tug or a strong conviction. I pray for reconciliation in families, in nations and to you. I pray that all may come to know you and be reconciled back to you. Lord, you know my faults and my flaws. Forgive me for being unkind with my words and my thoughts. Forgive me for being self-serving. Forgive me for holding on to old wounds, instead of giving them to you. Forgive me, Lord. When I am overwhelmed, confused, unsure, and restless, help me run to your word. May your word come alive to me so that it is a living guide in every situation. Help me, Lord, to remember the promises of your word and bring the right passage to my remembrance for the situation. I acknowledge, Lord, that I need to spend more time with you reading and praying, so that I am prepared for whatever the day brings. Lord, I know that your word is indeed a light unto my feet and a light unto my path. Remove fear and anxiety. As believers you have not given us a spirit of fear, but of love, power and a sound mind. So, when we are fearful, may we remember your love for us and use that love as the impetus to love others and see situations differently. May we tap into the power that you have given us, for we are never alone, because you have not left us comfortless. May your wisdom be the underpinnings for our sound minds. May we remember that we don't have to be anxious, and when we are tempted to be anxious or worrisome, may we verbalize our concerns to you, and then leave them there as you instructed us. Our worry does us no good and limits us, and you do more with our worry than we ever could. 
help us to turn all of our anxious thoughts and nerve-wracking situations over to you, to truly do that and trust that you are working, that you are working all things together for our good because you love us, that you are working in ways that we cannot comprehend because your ways supersede ours, and that in this working you are molding us continually into masterpieces fit for your use. You are increasing our faith and our capacity to love. As a child of yours, Lord, I know that I am your masterpiece, though I feel so far from it. Help me to remember my worth in you when I'm faced with challenging situations. When I feel depressed, help me to remember that I'm fearfully and wonderfully made in your image. A replica of you and that you loved me so much you thought that I was worth dying for. I don't know too many people that would die for me, but you did, and I'm eternally grateful and humbled. For the unseen, Lord, thank you. You are beyond understanding, you are abundant, you are mine, and I am yours. I submit all to you today. Amen.